Hello everyone from Chelsea Fan TV. My name is Alex. I'm here with Lewis. Carefree Lewis G, my friend. It's good to be back. Back again, mate. I was going to say another day, another win. But look, we're undefeated. <laughs> undefeated, undefeated under Pochettino. So a lot of positives to take. 1-1 one, one against Liverpool. What can we see that we're going to get from this season, judging from what we've seen um, today? Just straight better football, for one. Like This is a draw where I come out feeling a lot better about the team. I feel like we actually have a squad. I feel like there's already more cohesion than last season, better chance creation, look better defensively. Everything, top to bottom, already looks good. Now, there is still holes that we need to try and sort out. The midfield had its issues. Going forward, yeah, we still didn't finish our chance and all of that. But if you look at the way that we played, it was a completely different Chelsea squad to last season. Um, I actually think we grew into the game. First 10, 15 minutes, we were very shaky. I feel like the nerves were on a lot of those players. Second half comes out, it's a completely different Chelsea squad. We're dominating the game. We're looking better on the ball. We're playing the transition ball. We have to do that because Liverpool have the better midfield than us and they're literally setting out to just attack. And they've got the high line and everything. We have to react to that. That's why we played a back five. I understand that. We have, we have the perfect players to deal with that, though, don't we? We have, we have so much pace up top. Yeah, I won't lie. The, the Sassi um, debut and everything that caught me off guard looked really good, though. Again, early start, didn't really do too well, looked a bit shaky, but he grew into the game. And it's the same for basically everyone. Chucky Mecca looked a lot better. Gallagher, the, the fucking breakup play was insane. Maybe there is a role for him deeper. Up. Maybe if he just keeps it simple, does the whole breakup play and pass it to somebody who's a little bit better on the ball, you might have something. Yeah. I don't know, but that's a game where I can look at him and say, cool, you're giving me something to go off. I'm seeing traits very, very good with his reading of the game. Another one that grew into and got a lot better. Nicholas Jackson. I know the first thing people are going to say is, oh, he didn't score, didn't get a goal or assist. The guy was a straight nuisance to that back line. For, for his Premier League debut as well, facing Van Dijk and Canate, two physical beasts, he did his job. He did the best that he could and unlucky with the 1v1 and everything. To be honest, I think Alisson did very well in goal. He saved a lot of chances that he probably shouldn't have in the heat at the moment. All in all, though, it was a much, much better performance. Only thing I will say is maybe Mudrick should have come on a little bit earlier. Sterling, I thought, was better. I thought there was a bit more intent from him, but the end product still wasn't there. At least there's more intent. At least he doesn't look lazy and he's just not doing anything like it was the back end of last season. Now give me a couple more games of patience with him, but he is still the veteran in the squad. I need to see more. It's your second season. There can't be a lot of excuses. I need to see end product. But everybody else I was questioning looked a lot better. Gallagher, much better in the second half. Chilwell, I thought he looked shaky first half. Grew into the game, was always getting into the right positions. To be honest, I think tactically we changed things up to, to utilise him a bit better. We started overloading the right-hand side and just using him as a bit more of an outlet. He was getting in the right positions. There's a plan. Pochettino's doing the best with a the squad. There isn't really as cohesive right now, but he's making them look cohesive with his, with his tactics. There's a lot to go off. There's a lot of belief to have. Just keep it up. For the first time in months, maybe even years, I actually feel confident in this squad and I feel confident in where we're going. We just need to keep things going because this was the only tough game that we had. Going into the next couple of games, there's a bunch of fixtures that we can win. We can get a run of form in. We can get some more confidence. We need to make the most of that. Just start as you mean to go on. And to be honest, we've done that. I mean, yeah, I think you've had a lot of points. Um, let's talk. Let's talk goalkeepers. Obviously, Kepa. He looks like he's going to uh, Real Madrid. Bit confused why they choose Kepa over a keeper like De Gea. I guess maybe the thought process passing out from the Bro, back. With this window has just taught me not to ask questions. <laughs> we got 125 million for those hideous twins mountain habits. If they, you can get Kepa to Real Madrid, go do that. If you can find a club that's desperate enough for Lukaku, go do that. I'm not asking any questions of Boley and the way that we're handling this window because the clear out's been good. The players that we brought in have considerable talent. I can already see it. It's a long-term vision. Like, I believe in this whole trust the process thing as long as there's a process and as long as there's improvement. There's improvement. See you in a sec, bro. Yeah, there's visible improvement in the way that we're playing. Just keep things going on a consistent basis. Don't panic when we have bad runs in games like we did in the first 10, 20 minutes. Let the players get a gauge of each other. Let them build an understanding. With one game a week, they're going to be a lot better and a lot more, co more cohesive in the next coming weeks. Just take it a week at a time. As of right now, 
did the best that we could against one of the best teams in the league. Unlucky not to get three points. Yeah. How many times did we say that last season? Yeah, but we never got three points, mate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's small improvement already. Yeah, I mean, but let's talk Sanchez. I mean, obviously, you spoke about Kepa. Are you, are you happy with him? Do you think he's a solid number one for the season? Because there are some people who still think maybe we should invest in another keeper to give him competition. I mean, it's still a bit early. Like, he did well in terms of catching crosses. Don't really think any of the goals were his fault. I know some people were trying to say he could have done a bit better with the first goal. I think it's a good pass into a dangerous goal scoring position. It's a good touch and a good finish. Like, he got put in a position where he was exposed. Way too early to call with him. Did well. Like, did the best that he could. I think it's, you need to judge him in a couple more games' time. Where would you rank the limbs when we scored that second goal, the one that got disallowed? On, on a, I mean, that has to be right up there for me with Ajax and, and the other Liverpool game where Pulisic e equalised. I mean, that was some of the best. And, and to do it on the opening day of the season as well, I think it was just such a shame that, that, that it got cancelled out. I think only Dortmund comes close to it in terms of last season. Again, there's not really a lot to go off. It was a great feeling. Like, all we needed to do was play on the front foot and score a couple goals, and the fans would have had complete belief in where we were going. I think the fans feel a lot better. I've said as well with the clear-outs, now you've not just cleared out a lot of players, you've cleared out a lot of arguments. There's no debate over how to get the best out of Havertz or how to get the best out of Mount or Pulisic or Ziyech or do we need to bring Loftus-Cheek into the squad and all of this. Like now it's just a bunch of young players who haven't really proven themselves yet, but that's why there's not going to be a lot of criticism against them either. There's going to be shortcomings, there's going to be ups, there's going to be downs. It's all about if you can see an improvement in the team. That's going to unite everybody. Everybody already looks a lot more united. That's why right now I think, I don't want to call it vibes and everything, but things feel a lot better than it did at any point within the last 18 months. It is months. good vibes, Lewis. We, we don't have to, we don't know, have to hide it, it, mate. It just reminds me of the Lampard era, and I'm just trying to move away from all of that. But things do feel better. Everyone's coming out. No one's got a gloomy face for the first time in ages. You feel a bit more optimistic about where the club's going. Just got to give a few more games to judge where we're really at. And just to finish off, um, obviously the window's not over yet. Who would you bring in? Obviously, we haven't signed Caicedo yet, but it looks like that's going to be done. But any, any other players you've got your eye on? Just get me another 10 as well than Cuckoo gone. If it's Elise, that's fine. I just don't really understand why we're going for somebody who's already injured when we already have an injured 10. But he's a quality player, so I'm not going to say no to him coming in. Just two midfielders, a 10. If you want to get another strike for competition, go do that. I don't really mind. But that's the only areas that we need to strengthen. And if we do that and if the players shine, you might be looking at a bit further than top four. I'm only going to say that one game at a time. Just keep building on it. But feel optimistic about this team. Always a pleasure, mate. Every time.